Here's something that might make you smile. If you're feeling lucky today, you may end up a billionaire. Ooh, the record-breaking Powerball jackpot has hit $1.6 billion. Wow, CBS 2's <laughs> Tina Esgene is live with the other hopefuls in Monrovia this morning. You know, Tina, that number, it just gave me pause. I can't even fathom what it would be like to win that money. <laughs> you know, it's funny because uh, I'm stopping some people along the way early morning that are up and I'm just saying, you know, you ever think about what you might do with 1.6 and there are people can't just, they, they can't even, they're like, oh, maybe a car. I'm like, you can buy many cars with that. Uh, among my newfound friends this morning is Randy. Uh, thank you for being with me this morning. And you got your coffee and you came in here to do something else. Buy some mulatto. Yes. The... Do you normally play? Uh, just once in a while. You wait for the big jackpot. Wait for the big one. Kind of like me. Yeah. Uh, what's your, do you have a, a, a system or what are you just going to do? No, it's all quick pick. You know, just like anybody else, just random. If I had numbers that I knew would ever win for me, but I don't know that. <laughs> so we were just talking here just uh, moments before um, about what people might do. So any thoughts? Dream big here, Randy. Come on, oh, 1.6 billion. Uh, travel the world. There you go. That's, That's ideal. Fine. Rachel, Michelle, see, or a lot of people traveling. Try not to waste it all like some people do. <laughs> but, and then, you know, some charitable organizations that will get benefit from it too, you know, of course. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people kind of wait for the big jackpot. So I don't want to hold you up, but thank you. Yeah, no uh, any, any, uh, any other ideas of what you might, uh, you know, how often do you play? In the past, have you? Do well, you... I've just played scratchers occasionally, you know, sometimes just with family and whatnot. So mm -hmm. it's fun. And, you know, never win anything big, but. 20 bucks here or there or something's fun. Well, you're out here early in the morning. Yep, getting Hopefully, the coffee, so. And the money. And the big pot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good luck. Well, we won't uh, stand your way. Thank you very much. Uh, so you can see people showing up uh, in this morning trying to, you know, strike it rich, if you will. The jackpot now breaks the previous record set in January of 2016. The odds of matching all five numbers and the Powerball number is one in 292 million. That is according to the Multi-State Lottery Association. Don't lose faith, though, folks. Dream big. There is a reason why many people do rush to buy the lotto, and that's because five of the ten highest Powerball or Mega Million draw ever have come in the last 18 months. Powerball added a third draw on Monday nights back in August of 2021. So prior to that, there were only two draws a week. And just the excitement of another draw, again, it fuels those sales. Here's Randy now back live. He's uh, getting his uh, winning ticket, right, Randy? <laughs> Uh, you got your change and your ticket, so good luck, sir. Winning is all I need. That's uh, all many of us need. Okay, take good care. Thank you. Uh, so this place in particular has also had some good luck in the past, and I'll tell you about that coming up at about 730. But in case you are wondering about that theory, um, a USC mathematics professor says there really is nothing to it by going back to the stores that have had big jackpots in the past. So uh, if you're thinking that's what you need to find, don't worry about that, according to at least one USC mathematics professor you can pretty much go anywhere bottom line you got to play to win reporting live this morning in monrovia i'm tina Zinni. back to you ladies in the studio true <laughs> that tina you know you put a smile on our face you always have a knack to find these great interviews mm -hmm. randy was awesome <laughs> we, we decided it's okay if oh, we don't thanks. win because we're perfectly happy with randy winning because he said he was going to donate a lot to charity and that speaks volumes of someone's yes. character right uh, it, it does. It does. And I, I, I do have to say, I appreciate him and others that are just, you know, out and about this early on a Saturday morning and uh, going on live television. So, yeah, uh, meeting <laughs> friends out here as well. <laughs> Absolutely. You always do, Tina. Thank you so much.